Hello my friends, this is a very important video and I'm so glad that you're here to get this information because it's going to be, we're all gonna have to work together on this to inform the people that are not watching this video of what's happening because I know not everybody's gonna watch it and the people are gonna be confused. Like you should watch the video where I said you need to watch the video, but we're all gonna work together on this. We've got this, we're gonna make it. It's temporary, I'm getting into the details right now. Depending on how many places you follow me on social media, depending on what conversations you've been a part of, what videos you've watched, you know more about the situation than other people. You may know nothing about this situation. So this is what it comes down to. I know you've got stuff to do. I'm going away for two months. Uh, I will be gone from the end of June, from June 24th all the way to the end of August. I'm taking a very long road trip with my family. I'm gonna put the map up here so you can see kind of the states that I'm going through just to give you an idea of where I'm going. Because I'm taking this long road trip with my family, I won't be able to put out the content that I normally put out, such as What's Up In Makeup, such as The Daily Makeup Minute. Those are things that I need consistent internet connection in order to keep up with. Uh, What's Up In Makeup is a huge project. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot. Uh, and there's just no way I can consistently, you know, guarantee that I can put that out. So all of the What's Up In Makeup content is going on hold until the first week of September. It is all coming back. So if anybody's having a panic attack in the comments, where's What's Up In Makeup? Uh, uh, if I'm not there, if you can let them know, it's coming back first week of September. Also, my in-depth reviews are are going to pause as well until the first week of September because I can't get any new products unless I'm going to the store and then I have to test them and they're just very labor intensive to edit and the point of me going away with my family is to spend time with them and if I'm spending an entire day editing a video like I normally do then that's kind of defeating the purpose of the vacation you know what I mean but there is still going to be content on the channel the content on the channel is going to be mostly commentary type videos. So it's going to be, you know, top fives, um, you know, like top five drugstore products. If I lost all of my makeup, what would I replace it with? I mean, you know how many products that I have. And there's a lot of things I've never talked to you about that I either really love or really hate or, or things that, you know, I want to give you updates on, things like that. So the plan is to have you at least one video per week. I haven't figured out what day that video is going to go live on. I'm going to try to get as many locked and loaded before I leave as possible. That means that just as you've seen in the past few weeks, the upload schedule is going to be weird. Uh, I, I have so many videos I want to put out before I leave, so I'm going to continue to try to put out two reviews a week, but they may not be Tuesdays and Thursdays like you've seen. You may get them Wednesday and Friday. You may get them Tuesday and Friday. You may get them Thursday and Friday. <laughs> you never know. I mean, it's really just whenever I can get the video done and out to you, or there may just be a Wednesday video uh, for the next couple weeks. I don't know, but I'm going to try my best to get you two review videos a week until I leave. It's only a couple more weeks left. So that means we've got, I believe, two more episodes of What's Up In Makeup left before the summer starts. Along with that one video a week, I'd also like to do some live streams. I'll also be updating the community tab on YouTube as often as I possibly can, sending you photos from the road of where we are. Little stories about our day. Uh, I'll mostly be on our, the YouTube community tab, which you can access through my channel page on YouTube or on mobile. It should automatically pop up when I post it. It should pop up in your subscription feed. I also have a collab planned that I'm really, really hoping will be able to go through. You know, the travel collabs that I did, like with Stephanie Nicole and Emily Noel 83. So there is going to be content on the channel while I'm gone. It's just going to be very different. So that is the major news that you need to know. But before I go, I do want to give you a tour of our tiny home that my husband built from a shell of a cargo van. He built a, us a little tiny home, uh, a little RV inside this cargo van that I do want to show you because it's super cool. He worked really hard on it. If you saw my Rich Lux 
video that I did recreating Rich Lux's makeup, then you've seen part of it, but you've never seen it finished. And if I lose you from this video now, I want to thank you so much for sticking with me during this time. I really appreciate it. I know that you all understand that, you know, my kids were only little for a short period of time. We're very fortunate to be able to be in a situation where we can both take off for a couple of months and spend this time traveling the country and part of Canada, you know, with our kids. I mean, what a gift to give to our children and to, to us, to my husband and I, to be able to spend this kind of time together, you know, me and him and also with the kids. I know that 95% of you watching this are going to understand that. I know there's going to be a percent that aren't going to understand it and that's totally okay. It's totally fine. But just know regular content is resuming in September. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head out to the adventure van. All right, ladies and gentlemen, meet the adventure van. Here is the front cab. Uh, the chairs there, the driver's seat and the passenger seat both swivel around. And then what happens here is that we have a table leg that goes right there. And then it becomes like our little dining room slash it's raining outside and we want to play cards situation there. Now this uh, platform my husband built for the dog because we are taking the dog uh, and he gets harnessed in there. Uh, we were told that that is much safer by our vet than keeping him in any kind of crate. So he's going to be harnessed in uh, to the seatbelt there with the... Um, with the platform there so that he is nice and comfortable laying down. The kids are gonna, it's hard to imagine, I'll put a picture up, but this is where the kids are gonna sleep, up here. What happens is, is that a bunk bed system hooks into these little latches here on these rods and it's like a tension thing. So the bunk beds are almost like little hammocks and they're really cool. So it's when the, um, when the driver's seat and the passenger seat are flipped around, that's when the bunk beds can kind of fit in there and they're just easy to roll up and they're pretty awesome. So this is the back. Uh, this is our little kitchen area. I'll bring you in here. Ugh. Home lighting. Oh, it's really, really close. Uh, I don't have good, like, zoomed out lenses. I'll try to get back as far as I can. So this is the kitchen. And of course, we've got cabinets there. And then there is our sink situation. It's got a pump on it so that it, we have running water. And then this is our bedroom area. This is where my husband and I are going to sleep. So underneath here, this is our refrigerator. It slides out uh, and it's all electricity powered. And then there is our toilet. And I'm not gonna go into the details of the toilet, but it's pretty awesome. It's latched in there so it doesn't come out as we're driving, but uh, it's pretty fancy schmancy to try to keep uh, the odors down. It's like a dump system. So there's no like drainage that goes outside of the van. It's like a, like a bag system. So we're gonna only be using that pretty much for emergencies only. And over here we got a little coat hanger. My husband's thought of everything. He's amazing. So he also installed a fan here and of course the track lighting there that's on a dimmer so you can dim down by side and then the air conditioning unit and then down there is the heating unit so we'll have air conditioning and heat and everything just like a regular mobile home so john sewed these so that whatever temperature is on the inside of the van stays that way so they're insulated and then it's just sewed on both sides and then down here is all of our clothing and food storage uh stuff like that and then our water tank is back here um we do have a little shower a uh, situation where if we want to take a shower in our bathing suits under emergencies <laughs> we can but for the most part we're going to be um taking showers at campgrounds and things like that but yeah so there's the back of the bed that's how it looks from the back end and he also hooked it up so we can do shore power so he has that there in case we want to do shore power we can do that and that's the man that's the man Hi. that did it all so how long did it take you uh, we bought the van in December and I finished it I guess like mid-April but that was me working a full-time schedule doing family stuff and then working on the van like at night and on the weekends and stuff like that. So uh, anything left to do on it or we're done? Uh, so I just got a, a custom screen door for it so on the side here there's gonna be a whole screen door and then there'll be magnets the whole way down the side here so you just push it aside to get in and that'll let us have a lot of airflow in there without all the bugs getting in 
Very cool. And then that's it, man. Like everything else is done. I'm ready to hit the road. Well, you did a great job. What place are you most excited about visiting? I'm excited to go to Canada and check out the national parks there. I'm excited to go to Colorado because that was like, long story short. I'm just super excited to go there because we had to skip it last time. Yes, when we um, went two years ago. So we're spending the 4th of July in the Colorado area, which would be really cool. And then Canada. There's a lot of really cool stuff. It's hard to say exactly one place, but. Nice. Should be cool. Awesome. So that is the adventure van. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, nothing is changing except for maybe some tweaks in how many videos I can get out to you in a week until June 24th. June 24th is the day that we're leaving. I know some of you that love me dearly are gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're gonna be gone so long, who's watching your house? We actually have a um, house sitter that's gonna be coming and uh, gonna be uh, feeding the cats, bringing in the mail, things like that, which is gonna be awesome. We've also beefed up the security on the house which makes me feel so much better uh, so I'm not concerned about the house at all we also have an officer neighbor who is going to be keeping an eye on the house other neighbors that are amazing and they're going to be keeping an eye out for us as well uh, they know the house sitter so they know what she looks like so they know who should be going in the house and if they see anybody else they know something's up <laughs> after the debacle two years ago with our car getting broken into, I think we like over prepared on the safety measures for the house. If you don't know that story, I'll link that vlog down below. It was terrible. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that uh, it clarified some things for you. And again, I need you to be the collective brain and help people that did not watch this video to know why there's no what's up in makeup, why there isn't as much content on the channel, why things are changing, um, and that things aren't going to be different forever. It's just until the first week of September. First week of September, I will be back. So thank you again for being here. Mad love to you, and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!